so what is Druid? Uh, for you know, we had some people in the poll that like didn't haven't gotten started with Druid yet. Uh, you're just at the beginning of the Druid journey, and uh, if you go to the Druid.io website, uh, you'll see that uh, Apache Druid currently incubating is a high performance real time analytics database. And I just want to break down this tagline because I think it really um, explains what Druid does pretty well. Um, so uh, high performance, uh, what that means is really just low, uh, low query latency and massively multi-tenant. So uh, you issue a query, it comes back straight away uh, with, with a very low latency. We, we call it sub-second, trying to get the queries back to you under a second. And uh, you can have a lot of people querying Druid at the same time, supporting use cases where a single application is issuing many queries and also uh, many people are querying the cluster at the same time with no performance degradation. Uh, real time just means that uh, uh, Druid works with streaming data. This is what kind of the what the world is moving to now. Uh, all your data lives in streams. You have your Kafka stream, Kinesis stream, or what have you, and you can ingest that directly into Druid, and that data becomes instantly available and indexable. So uh, you can query it as soon as it comes in. Um, analytics uh, Druid is a data database that specializes in counting, ranking, group by, time trend queries. Uh, Druid is an analytics database, and uh, if you're thinking about this in the SQL world, uh, Druid is really, really good at doing group buys and performing aggregations very quickly, uh, and including all the data up to the second in those aggregations. And lastly, Druid is a database. So um, it's not a cache, it's not a some sort of query process, uh, some sort of query processor, or uh, a uh, and like a streaming analytics processor that stores just like a small sliver of your data. Druid actually stores a copy of your data, uh, historical uh, data, and data that just happened. Allows you to query over all of that data uh, in a single query and supports a, a pretty. Uh, normal SQL interface uh, for actually querying it. So the problem that we're trying to solve when we build Druid is we're really trying to power UI, UIs like this. In this particular case, I have three GIFs. They demonstrate uh, Pivot, which is implies UI that we built, built on top of Druid. And you'll see it some more because it's part of the things that you get inside of uh, Imply Cloud offering. But the fundamentally, when people deploy Druid, they're trying to power some sort of an experience like this, where uh, people can take a big data stream uh, or uh, just a big collection of data and then to be able to surface it to users in a very quick and intuitive way where you can just have a dialogue with the data. So every time you're just uh, dragging something in and the, the UI keeps querying under the hood, uh, and every, pretty much every product that people build with Druid looks like some variation of this. Uh, so a lot of people use the imply uh, UI picture here, and some people uh, choose to you know, build their own UIs or something like that. But fundamentally, it's to power an experience like this. 